what is going on you guys uh, welcome back to the channel so this is uh, life of dex yeah and today uh, we're gonna be talking about the brand new showy neotex 3. so the store i work at so rad moto it was kind enough to lend me this brand new helmet um, so the neotex 3 just came out and uh, yeah, I rode with it for like a, a couple of days now. And uh, yeah, here are my thoughts. So this helmet, I rode it uh, for a couple of days on my brand new CRF 300 Rally. So I chose that bike um, because it had absolutely no windscreen. So that means that all of the wind would be uh, blown onto my face. Uh, so I could really test uh, how quiet this, uh, this new showy really is. And uh, believe me or not, it was absolutely amazing. I usually ride with a dual sport helmet, um, so uh, so a full face helmet uh, that does not flip up. Now that one is quite a bit noisier. I already thought that was a quite a quite a uh, quiet helmet. So uh, for reference, that would be the Aero uh, Commander. Uh, so here's a picture of that. Um, but yeah, this one really blew blew my actual helmet out of the park um, with uh, with uh, actual road noise, wind noise and all of that. Um, once you shut off everything, uh, once you shut the visor, once you shut off all the airways, it really is astonishingly quiet. Um, like sometimes I really had even trouble hearing my own bike, um, which was actually quite pleasant. Um, not that my bike is very loud, absolutely not, but yeah, it was a uh, very very peaceful this all also with the inner lining that it has is very 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 comfortable so um, when you wear it it actually hugs your face um, without actually smushing you um, so that is actually a quite a nice addition as well um, and also um, it really cups your face very 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 tightly uh, once you close down everything of course um, but it leaves uh, a lot of space around the ears which is very very comfortable um, and uh, also um, the, the the juggler um, that, that comes around so uh, so you can uh, so you can close down the helmet um, actually um, really fits nicely around the around the cheekbones um, which I did not uh, have that with a neotech 2 um, for example so uh, yeah that one really 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 a great helmet um, it also has a 22.06 um, security homologation now. Um, so uh, from the Neotech 2 to the Neotech 3, uh, Neotech 3 we actually uh, went from a 22.05 homologation to the new security uh, homologation that would be uh, that would be necessary uh, for production in uh, 2023. Um, so yeah, that means that this one should be safer as well than a Neotech 2. Now we absolutely don't know if a Neotech 2 would actually um, pass the uh, 22.06 homologations uh, testing. Um, I hope he, he, he actually would, I think he actually would, um, because I don't think that they really um, changed up that much in, uh, in, in the shell um, of, uh, of the helmet. So, uh, oh yeah, very nice. Um, this helmet also comes in uh, three helmet sizes. Uh, so uh, that means that you'll have a shell size for double XS, XS, S, and then otherwise you would also have like a second shell for the um, medium, large and extra large or maybe just medium large and then the third shell would be for extra large and double XL. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably that's probably it. Um, yeah, which is very, very nice that they actually implemented three shell sizes. I'm not sure if they already did that with the Neotech 2. I think they did though. Um, but yeah, that's very, very cool. So that means that if you are a medium that it would be a very smaller um, shell size than apparently like an XL um, which don't uh, which not every uh, motorcycle helmet um, would have that many shell sizes so that means that even if you have a very small head um, you will uh, you wouldn't walk around with like a big mushroom uh, helmet um, so it really stays quite slim uh, so that is a very big plus as well um, now Apparently, as you can see right here, um, the helmet is also very aerodynamic uh, compared to a Neotech 2. The Neotech 2 would be way um, taller 
and less elongated like uh, like you could see here so um, this one would actually really uh, catch the wind and just let it slide over it um, so yeah uh, the brand new aerodynamics that they did on this one are absolutely fantastic and uh, when you flip it up as well uh, compared to the new tech 2 the uh, mouthpiece um, that flips up actually is way closer to the shell um, so it doesn't catch as much wind as it would on a Neotech 2 um, so that would actually catch wind go back and actually cause strain on the neck um, so with this one I did not experience that and that was very very good um, weight wise on uh, on this helmet it actually uh, is quite the same weight as uh, the Neotech 2 um, this one is a size large and it has if I'm not mistaken yeah, uh, here we are on uh, 1,765 grams for the helmet alone, and that would be 1,800 grams with optional um, with optional uh, with optional parts. Um, what they also changed uh, about the Neotech 2 coming into the Neotech 3 uh, would be a bigger sun visor. So if we just flip that down, sorry for the mosquito uh, <laughs> mosquitoes on, on here uh, since uh, I just wrote it. Um, you can actually see that it comes quite a bit more down, um, which is very, very comfortable if you're riding. So that means that if um, the helmet is all the way down um, with the sun visor down as well, um, you don't really get that sun glare underneath of it. So um, yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. So what they actually did with the uh, big visor, which is also a big change coming from the Neotech 2, is um, now it will be a center locking visor. Um, so usually on the Neotech 2, you would have the clips right here, so you can just pull on it and just flip it open. Yeah, so it's actually center locked. So right now, if I pull on it, I can't open it. So you have a big button right here that you actually have to press down and then you can flip it up. I know a lot of people are not going to like this. I actually do like it um, for some reason. I don't know why, um, but it feels very, it feels very, very sturdy. Um, if you if you flip it all the way down, but don't click it into the center lock, um, you actually have a very small opening that will actually create um, uh, wind inside of the helmet, which is very, very nice. Um, and then. Once you're done with that, if you really want to have peace and quiet, you just lock it in and then it's complete silence inside of the helmet. Um, yeah, so that's, a, I think, a very nice addition to the helmet. So apparently with this new visor as well, um, they also optimized it to have the least uh, optical distortion as well. Um, and I, uh, I'm not gonna say that I noticed it when I tested the Neotech 2 and the Neotech 3. Um, but yeah, uh, it's absolutely crystal clear um, and uh, yeah, absolutely no optical distortion or whatsoever. Um, which I can't say about my other helmet. That other helmet, I think on the sides um, quite distorts the, uh, the, the image that, that, we can, that we can see through it. But, uh, but yeah, that's another discussion. So on, uh, on a final note as well, um, this helmet also fits uh, for the PFS system is actually the uh, showy personal fitting. So what that actually means is that uh, you can completely um, in about an hour get this, uh, this helmet redone to your actual uh, head shape. So that means that, that you will have a totally personal fitted showy helmet, um, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I think that costs about 60 euros. Um, all included. Um, now, the cheek pads will not be uh, messed with, so get a helmet that actually fits very snug on the um, on the cheek pads, and then uh, for the head pad, that one can absolutely be uh, be altered, so um, so um, it uh, will be more comfortable. So yeah, um, absolutely. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy one uh, once I get the chance and the money aside um, because this one is quite an expensive helmet but it's worth every penny. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.